Meghan Markle is reunited with the spectacular gown and veil she wore to walk down the aisle in a touching scene from a new documentary four months after the royal wedding was watched by millions around the globe. The Duchess's face lights up as she gazes at her veil in a fleeting scene from the trailer for Queen of the World, a two-part ITV show exploring the Queen's role as head of the Commonwealth. Meghan can be seen delicately handling the elaborate veil, which was embroidered with flowers from each of the 53 Commonwealth nations at the Duchess's request, as well as Wintersweet which grows in the garden at Nottingham Cottage, the home she shares with Prince Harry in the grounds of Kensington Palace and the California Poppy, a nod to her native state. As she caresses the veil, the Duchess remarks, 53 countries, oh my goodness. It will keep us busy. Givenchy embroiderers who worked on Meghan's veil washed their hands every 30 minutes to ensure the white silk and threads remained pristine. It's Meghan's first appearance in an official documentary as a member of the royal family. Her brief appearance in the clip has already begun circulating on Instagram fan accounts, with the Duchess's admirers around the world desperate to see more. OMG I just love her, said one fan beneath a clip from the show, while another said simply, crying. Another posted, where can we watch it in Sydney, Australia? Meghan will discuss her wedding day and in particular the cathedral-length veil she wore which added a wow factor to her relatively simple Givenchy dress and its significance. Both the dress and the veil will form part of a display open to the public at Windsor Castle in October. The Duchess's bridal gown was the subject of intense speculation in the months leading up to the royal wedding, but it wasn't until Meghan stepped out of her Rolls Royce outside St George's Chapel on May 19 that the world learned Claire Waite Keller, the recently installed new chief of storied French fashion house Givenchy, had been tasked with designing it. Meghan's husband Prince Harry also appears in the trailer for the documentary, in which he is seen joking that he still panics when he bumps into his grandmother the Queen in the corridors of Buckingham Palace. The Duke of Sussex is seen chatting to young people who won places on the Royal Household Caribbean Hospitality Scholarship Initiative. He tells them, you guys have spent way more time in Buckingham Palace than I ever have, and you've only been here two weeks. Speaking to the new recruits he says, have you bumped into the Queen yet? If you suddenly bump into her in the corridor, don't panic. I know you will. We all do. Queen of the World examines the head of state's role as a global figure and the baton she is passing on to younger members of the royal family as they continue to strengthen ties with the family of nations. Harry is now a Commonwealth Youth Ambassador and has already spoken about how his wife will join him in his work, which will see them begin a major Commonwealth tour in October. Filmed over more than a year the documentary makers were given access to private home movies and the program shows the role played by the Royal Yacht Britannia in the Queen's early tours of the Commonwealth. The Princess Royal watches footage of her first trip on the vessel with her brother Charles after months apart from their parents who had taken part in a post-coronation Commonwealth tour. and says, I have very good memories of that trip, the journey out in the sea nannies, 
that we had to stop us from launching ourselves over the side were very good memories, we were kept very busy. There was lots to do, all sorts of places to go, and things to keep clean, lots of scrubbing and polishing, that was part of our role.